It is finally time for me to take on some more of your projects and get redesigning. And just before we start, Adobe Max released like this thing where you can like resize your documents like with the design and then it'll just take your design elements and resize it for you in like different dimensions. That's insane. I don't know. Also, hit the everything pack. You guys probably hear it every single video, but what it literally is is all of my assets over the last 10 years. God, I'm old. Premium, hand-created, genuinely dope, high-quality assets that I've created over the years. I'm a big fan of quality over quantity. You also get access to my official exclusive Discord with over 2,000 plus members, nearly over like at least $300 of value in just one simple purchase. Did I mention literally every next product that I come out on Selfie will be given to you for free through the Discord and or email. And yeah, so don't miss out, okay? But now let's hop into it. Anyway, today we are starting with Electro for the win, Max Verstappen, I just did one of these. If you didn't see that video, then go check. But we have this really cool Max Verstappen poster, and more or less, I think it's actually a pretty successful idea and feeling and look. I mean, the car feels very separated on the lower third over here. Then we have these really cool three silhouettes. We got some fan action. We got the, you know, the text in here, but executionally wise. I think the first couple things that I want to attempt and try is to kind of make sure that we can see the words Max Verstappen in a creative way, of course, to maintain that integrity of the poster, but also the photos that are indicated here. I would immediately think that there's a way that we can actually take these and face these the other directions to get a better sort of like a little more visual appeal in that regard. When it comes to the actual sort of like flooring, all that good stuff here, it does feel pretty good. There's not that much in my opinion that I'm going to probably do to change this, but I'm just gonna hopefully fine tweak a little bit on execution and hopefully give you guys a better idea on how you maybe take your posters and uh, just make them slightly, slightly, slightly elevated in some format, uh, unless I incredibly butcher it. But without further ado, let's just hop into it and see what we got. We have a color correction on him, which I think actually was a fairly decent job on the color correction. I think the inner glow and outer glow are gonna go for me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally take this and flip this horizontal or or just move this one on this side and move the other one on this side Ta -da. i might even say to ourselves let's make this even bigger and then i'll go ahead and just kind of mess around with this max for saffin so first things first i can't read it max verpin this to me the max for saffin for some reason doesn't feel like texture it feels like it wants to be seen but it doesn't feel like a type texture because it doesn't it doesn't really feel like it unifies anything and or highlights something in specific right so this max for staff and stuff we're going to get rid of it for now we're, we'll add it back in some somewhere and now this we have some clouds and we have this very, very low quality crowd photo. Let me just, I just tweeted this very recently, okay? But asset gathering is absolutely a skill in itself, okay? I would highly recommend you guys to please, please, please make sure you do one of these things. Get a high quality photo on like a Flickr or something like that, or an Unsplash, or use Google search and just increase the actual search size. Now, shameless plug, I do have a plugin that I'll link in the description down below for you guys, uh, but I made it so it's like incredibly easy to do, but otherwise you have to like go into like your advanced settings, advanced search and all that good stuff in your settings. But I I put it right in the middle on the right, or excuse me, right dead smack on the right of the tools. You click on this and make sure you search anywhere between larger than four meg uh, megapixels is good. And then look at that. You'll just always find a high quality photo, bottom right, you know, 3.5 by 3.5K quality, right? Almost 4K resolution. So please, asset gathering takes skill. Take the time to find something you really love not something that just works. This can be kind of cool. This is pretty decent. I mean, the background here, all the texture and this right here is just so nice. I can't even lie, that is so good. Cause again, the play is not to mess around with the integrity, but what is this? Where does this leave us? What about this one? I'll be honest, not as cool, but arguably not bad. Now there is a nice blue background here. So I wonder, okay, if I were to take this and do the blend if, the underlying layer of the black here to make this transparent for ourselves. Now we gotta make sure we make it perfect, surely, right? Or we'll probably just cut it out. And I feel like it's a little stronger than what we had before. So that was before, this is after. We got clarity in the cloud, uh, clarity in the crowd and the sort of like really nice sky. I'm sort of feeling that there's a lot of like like central focus in this area, like right here, right? So when I look here, I feel like I'm just looking at a lot of different faces and I wanna make sure I kind of pose a bit of like separation there, whether if it's creating fake depth or creating more layers or something of that, cause then I just, you did it a little bit better. So I'm gonna make this guy a little bit bigger, right? And I'll make these guys even smaller. I'm gonna take my white simple brush here and just test the theory of trying to get them to be a little bit more separate with a nice simple little white brush hit. It feels like I erased the crowd on this right hand side. I don't really enjoy that idea that it feels like that. So I wonder if, should I use a color instead? I obviously asked myself what color would be the next question. I don't hate this bluish kind of tone going on. 
I really don't. It's getting there. So that kind of creates a little bit of separation between the very, very far background and then the subject matter. And I want to still figure out, should I create a yet again another separation? Something like this, right? And we go again. And you see how immediately we kind of get a bit of like a, you notice this guy is in front and then you got these guys second. And then the very, very far background third because of the way we separated it. Now it feels decent. However, this part, can okay, you see this? This? erase it remember the smoother your cutout is whether if you use a brush or whatnot the smoother that it is and the less jagged the more just high quality it looks even if the photo is not our favorite however it still makes it feel just a little bit more special for some reason i want to make this car a tiny bit smaller now i don't know if it's a breathing space thing for me or whatnot but i feel like it's necessary for it to be like that and then getting into here he put what extra road that's fun did you know we have AI? Okay, there's negative stigma around AI, surely for a for for a good reason in some regard and like whatever, right? All you gotta do is highlight it now and then just do generate fill. This you can get away with that, okay? It just it's just faster, right? It just makes your job easier. It doesn't do the job for you. Now we have our extra road in here. Now I think I got rid of the layer mask, didn't I? So I'll go ahead and re-erase this black, and then this smoke here also feels pretty decent. I'm gonna get rid of it on the car. I'm gonna also take some duplicates and just sort of stretch it a little bit. Maybe I'll even warp it a tiny bit, right? A very simple warp. You can kind of see the the flow lines like a U shape like this instead of like just like straight flat give it more some kind of shape to it make it feels like we're kind of cradling the actual sort of like photo assets here i also wonder if the color of the the road though can be like changed now i might just be a sucker for like darker tones but it does feel kind of good right without this it's kind of really hard to see the, like the the footer he called it but now it just feels very visible and for some reason, this 33 just feels a little awkward. There's a, there's a, I think there's enough Red Bull. I might get rid of that for you. The 33. Oh, one quick thing is just get rid of this weirdness. I don't know what that is. Would it be cool to leave the 33 right behind the car? I just want to make it too big. Like, let's say something like that. Now, immediately, I just wonder, do I, do I want to skew it? But like skew equals speed. There's a world where I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be like, it was good before you did the 33. I can agree with you in some uh, in some format, okay? But I want to make this 33 work. I want I want to get your buy-in. If that's how you're feeling, I want to get your buy-in, okay? But the red Formula One logo, it kind of felt really weird down here. It just felt like it was a little bit too close to the bottom. I get uncomfiness to it. I think the rule of thumb, in my opinion, uh, and you see it usually on those like graphs and like your guidelines. If you look like like a, like a company guideline, it's if I can't duplicate the logo again right below it and you can't see it fully then it's too dang close to the edge okay like a very simple rule of thumb but i can't see it over this dark spot here so if i do a yellow i can see it and it kind of ties all the yellows together from the helmet into the car so i might say that feels pretty good this is a little bit money as well so what i would appreciate myself to do is like get rid of this red bull logo that way there's no like again visual noise and all that good stuff so i'm gonna go into this layer use my lasso tool go around it right click generate fill now there's less visual noise there it feels a lot better do i want to add a little bit more glow behind this first one now with this i'm gonna take that same blue hue tone bring it further up close to the left to make sure it's closer to white than it is color and click a few more times like so but i'm gonna go over a pass and just see what it looks like if i were to give this like a proper rim light with doing the usual like photo manipulation technique and say did this work now i can't say it didn't but i might take the low uh the lightness and lower it down just a little bit so it's not so aggressive and the the, the background itself we have that light back there and it's the blue that we like enjoyed for the first interaction here right if i go back and now make this white again does it now make more sense and like more purposeful i want to say it kind of does the only thing that we're missing that was very like potent in the actual poster was the max for staff and name now the font and such and choice and in, in the hierarchy and all that good stuff what i'll end up doing instead is i want to first see if i have any script fonts now i don't have one that's like super super good i have this one it's i don't i don't usually download script fonts i need to I need increase my script font world but i feel with like a, a script font versus staffen and then write me like a regular max but i don't love it there so i'm sort of defaulting and retreating into this sort of lower third area i'm trying to keep this script integrity though hold on now as much as i would like to do something like really creative the only place that I feel like I can put it is like somewhere 
very small random and added that signatures kind of style in there and i'm just, i might just make that call so i can stop playing with it i'm gonna call an audible here and say i'm gonna get rid of the, the crowd it loses a little bit of integrity of like the original but i don't hate the mm. i'll leave it up to you guys crowd or no crowd please let me know okay am i allowed i'm gonna do my before and after with no crowd first thing you're probably gonna notice immediately is that we got rid of the sort of heavy focus that was happening sort of in the middle of his poster right i felt like it lacked a little bit of separation so i definitely want to make sure i highlight it on that on my example that way it felt like our star middle photo was actually feeling like a genuine star middle photo the car i made it just slightly 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 smaller just so it kind of felt like i had a more breathing room it just felt a little bit too tight for the frame and then for me there was this awkward negative space in between like the helmet and like the car the chest area it felt like there was just something missing. I took some of the visual language that he had in there, took away one thing, but then made that 33 like a star piece element to immediately kind of capture this Max Verstappen world. That way you kind of have enough context of who it is. But I do think with the crown photo that I also chose and his, you know, his photo as well, there's just a lot of face noise. And, and it's, it's a little bit like less ignorable because it's like faces and you want to recognize them. So it fights for your visual language in your head, like what should I look at? But ultimately that's up for you to sort of figure out for yourselves if I did a decent job, let me know. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so for the last one, we have 40s design here with his EBA, I'm guessing soccer player, portrait sort of like a collage -y kind of idea here. Now, initially, I don't necessarily hate what I'm looking at. And I also can't incredibly pinpoint what is quote unquote wrong for me, right? I see the idea of a collage. I see the idea of using multiple photos. I see the idea of using possible like asymmetrical not symmetrical kind of vibes while you know the actual photo of the sort of action photo is like right in the middle the shadow looks pretty decent like all that good stuff i don't know exactly what i want to do but i know there's just something not right so let's move it around a little bit now let me just really quickly grab the same sort of idea this 11 11 kind of vibe i think Drew will be just will do me right on this part right similar to what he had now, what is this photo? I don't hate it, so I'm gonna take it out for a second. Merge all the adjustments first, actually, and then Smart Object. And so what I'll do is I'll clip mask this, make this nice and big. How could I make this cool? And this action photo is pretty decent, but I will say the, of course, the cutout is not perfect. So for now, I'll say this is pretty decent. I don't hate the sort of like hard shadows here. I might lower it just a tiny bit because it's a little harsh for me. And I feel what could be kind of fun here is like some kind of duplicating idea theory going on to kind of match this scrapbook like idea. Can't say that idea was working. So for his 11s, they were obviously red, the same red as this. And that kind of made it a little bit too invisible for me. So maybe I'll make it the same red tones or red color, but I'll just kind of change the tone around. So I'm like, this could be kind of fun. Oh, this is just so strange. What do I need to do here? Do I need like offset the ones or something i don't enjoy that they were facing the same way so i'll face them the opposite way real quick should i erase his head put something like this instead this is a difficult one i can't lie because i don't know what's exactly wrong it's like a very stylistic thing but what i will do at least is i'll bring in what the, at least like the sort of text he had in here then i'm guessing this is the first or last name here like there's a world where i might be able to use okay like the text or the type as texture here. I don't know, I, I can't do anything besides smile because I actually have no idea, but it's really fun. I, I have more no idea than usual. So I'm really curious how this is gonna go. This is stumping me a little bit. But one thing that it's called my name pretty consistently is like offsetting these 11s or these ones and then bringing in a soccer ball because for, for someone who's kicking in action, I don't see a soccer ball. And this soccer ball for me can be a fun sort of like thing to help fill space in some way. I don't know if this is his nickname, but the poster when it was saved, it was called Ebra. There's a world that I enjoyed the collage like idea. I enjoyed the theory of the text hiding behind objects, being a part of the objects, not necessarily creating the shape because it's really hard to tell what the 11 is. Playing with the theory that this action photo is honestly really good. The black and white is calling my name. And then from there, do I get to a place that I'm happy with? Let's start all the way back from scratch. Let's go ahead and say the black and white thing looks pretty good here. Let me quickly try a nice little color halftone. Now I don't hate the halftone here. I wish it was a little tighter, but like six 
100, 150, 100, and then 50. And then instead of gradient map, let's go ahead and use a threshold. And then I'll go ahead and do is I'll combine these two layers all together, right? Go into where it says select color range. I'll use a smart object first. We'll take white, lower the fuzziness down, press OK, select our layer mask, and I'll just invert it just like so. I don't know if pure black works. So I'm trying to pick a color from here. What happens now if I use this? I mean, it might look better without it, but I want to, again, keep the integrity a little bit, right? Let's bring in this ball again. And now maybe this ball has a threshold instead. Maybe I have a nice little grading on it. Do I get creative, right? Do a little duplicate. Then I'll take this 11, throw this in here. It's, it's honestly not even the typography. I think it's always fine to kind of use typography as like a texture. It's just the name itself just doesn't warrant like Z-L-A-T-A-N looks just weird for me. Maybe I have to get a little creative on this part here, trying to play with as much sort of overlapping as possible. And now they did have a secondary photo. I might mess around with the vibes a little bit with what I'm about to do. And now the floating head thing, I have no idea if this is a good idea. For some reason, it feels like a decent enough one where this head is gonna just act as like some supporting elements. Okay, so this is the person. So maybe I'll just take this as some texture. Cause again, I do want to call to this collage like a th uh, like theory. Realistically, I don't want to go too crazy, right? Cause they didn't go too crazy. I think I'm done. All the texture stuff I think is pretty decent. I'll just make everything a little bit bigger and then maybe just add a little half tone texture pattern to it. Mm, maybe not, maybe not. But instead, I'll just sort of add some sort of hit of color or just a little more, some kind of contrast with the background. And I think I'm just gonna call it here. But humbly 40, I'm gonna put up the before and after here. And I'm just gonna say, I know it's not exactly what you did and not entirely sure what I would have done differently from you before, but I felt like it was at the point of a stage where it felt like it can get to my after with the thought process of keeping up with the mentality, which I sort of interjected and said, it's this collage style theory. And I try to take the sort of adoption that you did with the, the typography, kind of putting it around the canvas itself, you know, inside the, the 11 or like, you know, uh, behind or sort of integrated with the actual photo and sort of putting it behind, but yet not behind. And more or less just add like a simple little sort of star pattern or texture of some sort using the photo itself to again, draw more attention to that photo, more central focus, kind of put it a little more centered and then just went really sporadic and added one asset, which was the, of course, the soccer ball in this case. And yeah, I feel like all in all, it's the same theory, not the same graphic. And I'll take the L for that one if that's the case, but more or less, hopefully, at the end of this video, you guys felt like you had some fun, you learned something. I definitely got stumped on this last one, but hopefully you guys had some fun with the Formula One poster and now the Eber poster. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. So as always, that is Sesso HQ out. Y'all are gonna keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking proud, guys. Let it much love, peace. And yeah, I had fun. Hopefully you did. Later.